In Luke, it says this, Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. I love that part of it. You don't even have to get up. You just have to have the right consciousness, and it pours in your lap. Now I continue. For the measure you give will be the measure that you get back. Luke 6, 38. You are a grateful giver, and you're a grateful receiver of the goodness of God. I include both because I have known many spiritual people that love to give, but had a hard time receiving. They said, no, 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 I'm, I'm not worthy. Give to someone else. Well, that blocks the circulation of God's good. God has been generous to you, and you can be an open channel of that generosity by letting it flow through you to bless others. As you give of your time, as you give of your interest or finances with the understanding that you are sharing God's abundance, you discover the true joy and the absolute satisfaction of giving. The rewards of giving are priceless in themselves. Some desire within you at a deep soul level is fulfilled as you help others. You feel a kinship, a oneness in spirit with those with whom you share divine good. You bless others by being a grateful receiver, though, also. Just as much as your giving feeds you, realize your receiving feeds others. And just as you receive personal enjoyment in sharing, know that your friends and your loved ones do also. We are grateful givers. And we're grateful receivers of the goodness of God. And we do not stop the divine circulation, the divine flow of God at any point. And it only increases. I pray today that you are a grateful giver. And that you are a grateful receiver of the goodness of God. Ever increasing, ever multiplying. In Jesus' name, amen.